It's Zoe with Zoe Fitness, and I wanted to pop in today and talk about flutter kick for freestyle and uh, straight leg hip extension, which essentially is one of the same. Uh, so many of my swimmers want to improve their swim and want to improve their kick. Um, and then as I see from a structural standpoint and a uh, movement standpoint, um, for a great portion of our population, um, the movement that is involved in flutter kick is difficult for people to do inside the pool, but then also outside of the pool, which is why I wanted to address it today. The actual movement is considered a prone straight leg hip extension. Now we're going to start that movement on the floor and I will face the mirrors. I'm going to put one hand on top of the other and my forehead is going to rest on top of my hands and that's going to keep my cervical spine neutral. We're going to lay down and from here what we're going to do is ground the pubis and we're going to lift one leg straight, straight out of the hip, and then switch. So lift and switch. And so essentially this is what we do in the pool when we're kicking as well, is a flutter kick. It just goes a little bit more faster like this. And that's definitely a progression. However, when we're getting started, I want to go ahead and just think about lifting one leg at a time, making sure we're not using our lower back. So you can increase the difficulty of that exercise by using a band. You can put that band around your ankles and the movement is going to be exactly the same. You're going to be prone and you're going to be lifting one leg and then the other leg. Let me show you from the side. And I do not recommend doing this with the band um, for several weeks of doing it without. Uh, one thing that I noticed with my swimmers who grew up swimming is that their legs are not straight out of their hips. And um, we're actually going to be able to get a lot more power out of our kick if our femurs are coming directly out of our hips. So yes, streamline is wonderful. However, if I can actually engage more glute hamstring, quad in that kick, I'm actually going to get more power overall. So next step would be lifting it up off the ground and using a physio ball, which I have right here. And this one's going to actually get your feet off the ground a little bit more. So I'm going to start with that nice straight. I'm almost in a plank position and I'm going to lift, 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 lift. And again, in the beginning, we're just working on strength. Um, and then you can increase the uh, speed of that. But ultimately, we want to work on strength, which is just doing that straight leg hip extension. And that would be the third uh, exercise in a progression of three. Thanks so much, and I hope you have a great day.